to really point out that this is an odd thing for Democrats. Every Republican, no matter how odd and how unsupportive, <laughs> got a, quite a lot of time. And this has been kind of like a horse race where we knew who was going, we only talked about a winner, a placer, and there is a shower that hardly got even a picture taken of him. And this was not really a reasonable thing because this is a person who has been a successful governor, who doesn't have any baggage. I think he's very likely to be very popular with a lot of people in the United States. He hasn't had any kind of uh, issues about uh, about emails. He is a guy. He doesn't have an ugly, ugly word like socialist attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> that a large measure of this country does not. Yes. And a large measure of this country has, including maybe more women than men, has an aversion to Hillary. Now there's a guy named Martin O'Malley who has a, a widely respected platform, who has worked hard on this. He has been in Iowa more than either of the other candidates, and he gets no notice at all, and he is highly electable. And I think he's going to be very popular in the South. I think he's going to be very popular with many of the voters in this country. And he has not gotten any kind of a fair shot at publicity in this country. And instead of just talking about a kind of simple, overall, and very powerful message about what we need to do with the 1%, he has a highly balanced 15-point program that he has talked about. He talks about veterans, ending child hunger, about uh, raising median income to 25000 in this country, and you should be thinking about him, and you ought to let us have enough of your extra, extra people to get at least one uh, delegate. One delegate. So, please. <laughs>